Welcome back. Welcome back. Now in this course, we will explore some of the ways that you can promote your Amazon Video Direct page. We'll look at some easy ways for you to create videos for your promotional efforts and for your trailers. We'll look at the ways in which you are encouraged not to collect leads and ways that you can. And we'll walk through setting up an autoresponder list for that purpose. We'll walk through some common sense methods that you can use in order to optimize your titles for the search engines. And for Amazon Kindle authors, we'll look at some ways in which you can and can't connect to your Author Central account. We'll look to YouTube to determine how we can repurpose our content. And we'll look at some ways for you to promote your content through events, both online and offline. So hopefully you already have your titles and they are very close to being completed and ready to promote and you will be able to take advantage of the directives in this course. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in the first video. Now, Amazon Video Direct is designed for content creators to reach their clients and it's not necessarily designed for individuals to use the platform in order to reach more customers for their existing business. That said, there are promotional tools that Amazon gives you that you can put on your websites and promotional materials in order to drive people back to your Amazon channel. And you'll find those materials inside of the support area. You'll then go to the publishing link. You'll then go to promote your titles. When you get to promote your titles, you'll scroll all the way to the bottom. And what you'll do is you'll get this marketing kit. Now you'll see there are five bundles of tools and you can look in each one of them logos lockups prime video logos prime video lockups and then third-party lockups each bundle comes with files in the EPS JPEG and PNG format and what you can do with each of these images is that you can add them to existing artwork that you are making the same thing is true of the logo lockups as well as the Prime Video logos. So in each case, you'll be able to use these images inside of your graphics editing program along with your title and its cover. And you can see that again in the third-party lockups. In each bundle, Amazon gives you a guide on how to use all of the content so that you remain in their terms of service. Basically, what Amazon is doing is it is directing people to its video demand service where, theoretically, if someone likes one of your videos, they might watch more of them. Since you are paid for minutes that people are streaming, this can be important to you as you build multiple sets of videos on Amazon Video Direct. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Since this course is about promotion, you want to be aware of the exact language for Prime Video Direct. In order to find that language, you're going to go into the legal section of your support area. When you click that legal link, you're going to see that Amazon Prime Video Direct has content policy guidelines. You want to click that link. When you click the link and you scroll down, what you're going to see is that there is a section here called poor customer experience you want to click learn more and you're going to see a section here that says business promotion and external links and basically Amazon Video Direct does not want you to send people outside of Amazon Video Direct they want all of your activity on the platform to be self-contained for Prime Video Direct and so this should include content so there should be no external links. There should be no advertising in the content. In addition, some of the issues fall under quality issues. For example, your cover image should include the title name. If you're going to include a watermark or logo, it should be an accurate distribution channel. And any functionality or call to action, any functionality or call to action should be supported by the Prime Video application. So this platform is not going to be like YouTube. The platform is meant to be a destination in and of itself. It's not meant to be a pass-through sending people to other places. 
So you want to be careful about mentioning other content that you have, even if it's on the Amazon platform, because again, technically the terms of service say they don't want you sending people outside of the Prime Video platform. But there are cases where someone does a search for your name within Amazon that you can see several kinds of content. For example, if you were to search for this person's name, you'll see Kindle books, paperback books, and you'll also see this person's courses here in this area. However, a content-based bundle strategy is one that you can undertake, and we will be talking about that in another video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, Amazon Video Direct will give you the opportunity to upload a trailer for your video. And in order to do that, there are sites designed to create visually pleasing video without needing to have lots of skill. There are cloud-based applications such as Animoto, Biteable, Animatron, and Go Animate. What you'll do is you'll create a video You'll download the MP4 video and then re-upload that video to your Amazon Video Direct account. Now, if you are creating a more personal trailer and you want to do a talking head video, you can do that very easily in YouTube. And all you'll need to do is when you go to your account, you'll need to click this button that says create a video or post. When you do that, you're going to have the opportunity to either upload a video or go live you're going to click go live when you do that YouTube is then going to use your microphone and your camera what you will do then is you will record your video here on your YouTube channel you'll then be able to go live with your video and then once you record that video you will then be able to have it on your channel once you have the video in your video channel you'll be able to go to one of these drop down arrows you'll then be able to click download mp4 video then you'll come back to your Amazon video direct account you will then click browse so that you can find the file on your desktop once you have your trailer in place you can then click save Amazon will then upload your additional video and you are ready then again to start the publication process but this time you have a trailer with your title Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, we have discussed the fact that you can't direct people from Prime Video Direct to another website in your content and around your content using your descriptions. However, you can still collect leads on the Amazon platform, and you can interact with your Video Direct content. For example, while you can't be openly promotional in your content, you can promote your website and other pages inside of your Kindle content. That means then that you'll want to have something written and posted to the Kindle platform. You can also place promotional links with your content in Create Space. So the paperback books that you may create, any instructional DVDs that you might place which would be considered film. You can use this to promote your existing business and if you're shipping information products from the Amazon FBA program and you're willing to use the third-party program Zapier you can collect leads every time you make a sale on Amazon Seller Central or FBA so in this part of the course we want to focus on the additional opportunities you're going to have making connections and generating leads with the other part of the Amazon program to your video direct content Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in order to collect leads, you are going to need to set up a, an autoresponder or some kind of email service so that you can have people go through an opt-in process. This gives you the permission from them for you to send them marketing emails when they like something that you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the website GetResponse and we're going to set up an autoresponding list so that we can correspond with people between the times that we are releasing videos. Now your autoresponder may not be get response, but you are going to go through a similar process. What you're going to do first is you're going to set up a new list. And in get response, we create a campaign name. Now once we've created our campaign, we're going to edit the campaign settings. 
What we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that we get a notification when someone signs up to our email marketing list. We're then going to change the profile settings. And we're going to give our campaign a title and description. We can add in our logo if we want, or we can leave this blank. We're going to leave our preview pages and go with the default settings, and we're then going to click permissions. Now we're going to leave our confirmed opt-in on, and that means then that someone is going to have to go to their email box, click a link to confirm before they can start receiving emails from us. And so we're going to leave this the way it is at the default settings. Now one thing we can do as soon as the person is signed up, we can take this custom URL and we can place a URL in here of a website or a web page that we have to give people more information of what it's going to be like and how they can benefit from being part of our email marketing list. But basically, we're now set up so that we can collect leads and generate a database for the sales that we make and for people who are interested in what we're doing between the time that we actually place a new video product. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the forms area and create a form. And we can either use one of the basic templates available or we can create our own. Now in this case, for the sake of time, we're just going to use one of the existing templates and then we're going to save this item. We're now going to go to the thank you page. And when we're satisfied with the thank you page, we're then going to click save again. And so now we have our form and our thank you page created. And now we're going to go to the next step. Now, if you already know how to place this code inside of your website, you can do that from here. You can have a web designer install the form if you give them the code that you have right here. Or you can have your autoresponder host the form. And that's going to be the case with most autoresponders. They will give you a web page that you can copy. And this will be the web page that you can give to people when you want them to sign up for your email marketing list. So you'll copy this and you'll see how it looks on the web. So when you send people to this page, all they'll need to do is to put in their name and email address and then they'll either get something that you promised them or they will get updates every time you release a video. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. You probably noticed that in multiple cases, you have the opportunity to write in your synopsis and in your description areas, words that when searched could develop how relevant you are to what someone actually wants to find. And so anytime that you get the opportunity to write a title or a synopsis, even as one as small as 400 characters, you want to make sure that you have as many keywords that are relevant as you possibly can. And there are some sources to help you find relevant keywords. One such site is Google Trends, and you can adjust the time period in order to determine how relevant you want these terms to be and for the videos you're going to be creating. And as we have discussed before, you can also use Google Suggest. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by writing in your keywords one at a time. Then you're going to look at what comes after so you can determine what the most recent searches are around the ones that you consider to be your market or niche. Again, these are the most recent searches that have happened on Google. Once again, you're going to do the same thing in YouTube and you'll notice that the lists are going to be different even from the first time that it was done. There are a number of tools available on the web that will help you to determine relevance with Amazon. One is the Celix keyword tool. And what we can do is we can write in our keyword to determine more relevance. Now the reason why tools like this are so important is because they determine relevance inside of Amazon. And you'll be able to tell whether or not you have a keyword or a subject is going to be based on data that says it's worth pursuing. In fact, if you do a search at google.com for the terms free Amazon keyword tool, you'll notice that there are a number of companies that make available keyword search tools that you can use for Amazon. And again, this is to help you determine relevance inside of Amazon. And in Amazon, your seller reputation helps to determine how you'll be placed as well as customer reviews. 
So you want to make sure that you are watching them, that you're doing everything you can to secure positive reviews and feedback from customers. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. You're looking at Amazon Author Central, and this is where individuals that have published on Kindle, and in some cases Create Space or Amazon's paperback book service, hold their writer profiles. Now, content on this page can be promotional. In fact, you can have your blogs, events, photos, and videos on this page that while talking about your written content can also promote your existing business. Now, as was confirmed in an earlier video, you will not be able to link Prime Video Direct to your Author Central page. That means then that the only way for us to use this promotional tool is to have written content. And to do that, in the next couple of videos, we are going to talk about how you are going to repurpose your video content into text content so that you can use it promotionally on your author page and throughout the rest of Amazon. And we'll start the process by turning your video into text. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in order to repurpose your video content into text, you can start by making sure that you have your videos on YouTube, whether or not they're unlisted or public. You can then go to your YouTube channel. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the video that we want to repurpose, and we're going to go to the watch page. We get to the watch page, we're going to do is we're going to go over to this right hand side, we're going to look for these three dots. And then we're going to click open transcript. Once we have the open transcript, we're just going to copy and paste it into a Word document. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to move this content into either a text file or a Word file. Now, if you do it this way, you're going to find that the TAM stamps are going to make this a little difficult. So what you can do is you can go back to YouTube. You can click toggle time stamps and that'll get rid of the time stamps. And then you can go through the same process and you can cut all of this information into a document. Copy it and then paste it into either a Word document or a notepad file. And we'll do that right now. And now we have an editable document that we can begin to work with to edit into text for Kindle and or create space. And we took it direct from the video. So we can do this one at a time. For instance, if you have one video, that can be one chapter, or if you have a long video, that can be a short Kindle book. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Once you've edited the text, you're then ready to begin working with your content in Amazon Kindle. And to do that, you're going to go to kdp.amazon.com. Once you're inside, you can start by creating a paperback. And so you can click this paperback plus. Now, as you walk through the process, you're going to notice on the second screen that what you're going to be doing is you're going to be downloading a KDP template for your preferred trim size. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to click that link. And then you're going to choose a particular template and size. And you can choose a template with sample content in it already. And for example, if we choose this 5x8 template, this is going to download a Microsoft Word document to our hard drive. We're going to go ahead and save it to our hard drive. And what we can do then is we can begin to lay out our content by using the template that's already been given to us by KDP. Now you are going to want to make sure that you go through and you do some editing or that you give it to someone to edit. However, you do have all of the formatting already done for you so that all you have to do is to begin to lay in your content. So for example, if we find this chapter one, we'll just rename this chapter to something else that we want. And then we'll take our edited content and we'll fit it in for chapter one. And then the same thing will happen for chapter two. So if you're using separate videos in order to denote one chapter, 
All you'll need to do is to edit those videos one at a time and put your content into this section. And you'll just edit your chapters and formatting just as it is inside of the doc. And then you'll simply save this document as your book content. And once your manuscript has been edited and it's ready to be uploaded, all you'll need to do is to come back to KDP and upload your manuscript here. And all you'll need to do is either use a cover that you have already had designed or you can use Kindle's cover creator in order to create your own. And once you've gone through this process, you will then be ready to begin previewing your book for publication on the Kindle platform. Now, what we've done is we've created a paperback in this sense. What we want to do now is we want to repurpose that same content into Kindle. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, for the sake of the video, we did not finish the entire process of publication for our paperback book. However, we are able to see a link that is going to be of relevance to us. And that is that you'll see that there's a link here that says create Kindle ebook. What you're going to do here is you're going to click that link. And the first screen is going to be just like the paperback screen. We're going to walk through this process. We're then going to click save and continue. When you get to this page, you are going to need to upload a specific file type and we can do either Word, Doc or Docx. We can do text files or PDFs. And just like the paperback, we're going to go through the same process. We're going to upload our ebook manuscript here and then we can either upload a cover that we already have or we can create a new cover with the Kindle ebook cover creator. And once we've completed this, we'll click save and continue and then we'll have a companion guide to our paperback book in the Kindle version in the Kindle store. So what we've done now is we've now made ourselves available in the Kindle store as well as in Amazon in general through the paperback and we're giving the same content in our video more exposure to more people and giving ourselves the opportunity to showcase our existing business. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, there are still individuals that look at video through DVD, and even though Amazon Video Direct is the primary way and the way that Amazon suggests that you distribute your video, you can use CreateSpace, use their platform free, and get to those who want DVDs. And there is a process for you to be able to do this if you go inside of create space and you go to the film area and what you'll notice here is that there is a menu for creating a dvd now the first thing you're going to want to know about creating a dvd are the submission requirements and we're going to take a look at that right now now one of the things that you're going to have to do that will be a little difficult will be that you'll need to be able to create and single ISO file and that ISO file must be unencrypted. DVD creators have this outsourced. They'll outsource it to someone on Fiverr, they'll outsource it to someone on one of the freelance sites. Now if you have software that does this, something like Sony Vegas or some other kind of DVD burning software, it's quite possible that you can create your own and then upload that file to create space. However, if you're going to go the route of making sure that your content is on DVD also, you will then need to upload that file and more than likely the fastest way to do it would be to have it outsourced. Your DVD will be available for sale on Amazon. You can also order that DVD in order for you to sell outright yourself. And you'll walk through the same process of creating and naming your file as well as creating your covers and you'll pretty much walk through this process step by step. And to give you an idea of the timing as well as the pricing, you can see this vendor on Fiverr offers this service currently at $45 for a basic service and then upgraded services at $120 plus $275. And again, that's turning video into DVD specifically for Amazon Create Space. And as you can see, there are other individuals available even though there aren't a lot of individuals. 
So again, one more way for you to repurpose your video content is to make it available on DVD and then make that DVD available on Amazon. And again, the difference here is that you can be promotional on your DVD. There are no prohibitions for you to mention your website and for your existing business. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we're going to talk about promoting your Amazon video or landing page with your WordPress site. Now, if you're already working on WordPress and you already have a website or blog that you're using, you can use it to promote your videos. And one of the ways that you can do that is using a redirect. And to do that, we're first going to go to the plugins area. We're then going to search for affiliate link cloaking. Now you can use just about any of these link cloaking systems that you like. The one that we're going to work with in this video is going to be by Client PID. So you'll see that it's already active as a plugin on this site. In fact, you'll see link cloaking here on the left side menu. What we're going to do is we're going to click link cloaking. And when we get there, what we're going to do is we're going to click add new link. What we're going to do is we're going to put the link to our individual videos here in this section. And we're going to give this a unique memorable name. So, so we can write in here a name that our clients would know. In this case, for the sake of this video, we're going to write in the term tutorial videos. Now for now, we're going to write in here prime video. However, you would write in here amazon.com forward slash V forward slash the name that you gave your particular set of videos. When you've done that, you're then going to click add link. And what you've done is you've given your clients a memorable name for them to be able to associate with your WordPress site. Now, one more thing that you can do is you can alter the menus and appearance. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the menus area. And we're going to create a custom link. What we're going to do is we're going to put in here our video URL. And what we've done is we've made sure that this item is always going to be in our WordPress menu so that people that come to our page will be able to click on this link and be taken to our set of videos. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, depending on how much a part of Amazon Video Direct becomes part of your income generation, you can then start to direct video viewers to Amazon Video Direct. And you can do that through your YouTube channel. So, for example, if we go to your YouTube channel and we click Customize Channel, one thing that we can do is to go to this right side and click this Edit Links. Once we get to the Edit Links, what we can do is we can then add in some other links. And once we get to this link page, we're going to click Customize Channel. It's going to bring us to this page of links. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in a link here. And we're going to put in our URL to our video channel as well as a descriptive link. And now you'll see there that our video channel is now linked to what we've placed here is Prime Video, but this will be your individual video channel. You'll also see that the logo is here on the right side menu in our channel. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, the assumption with all social promotion is that you have some connection and some interaction with people prior to your doing a promotional post. Now, assuming that that is what you're doing, we're going to promote our channel and our recent videos on our Twitter feed. And Twitter makes this easy because we already have a trailer or a partial episode. So when we go to our Twitter feed and we get ready to upload, what we're going to do is we're going to click add a photo or a video. So Twitter will then allow us to select 45 seconds. We'll then click done. And then our video clip will be active. We can then write in something about our set of videos that have just been updated or a particular video that has just been released. And of course, if you are a user of hashtags, you can use one here. 
Now, if this is not the point of your business, you're not going to go through putting this in your profile and making this part of what you're going to promote anytime you use Twitter. You really just want to use your feed in order to tell the people that you're connected to that you release something new. Now, as time changes and it becomes a larger part of your income stream, you may want to then make it a permanent part of your profile by putting it in your permanent promotional information. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, if you're regularly engaging with the people that you're connected to on Facebook, then posting your new video won't be a problem, and it will bring people to see what you're doing. Now, if you're not doing that, one of the ways that you can get people interested is to create an event. If you come to any fan page or any business page that you have, you can go to the event tab and you can click create an event and basically you can put in your trailer video and you can announce the release of your newest video of course when the video is ready you'll also post your link to your channel as well as the new video in your status but you want to take advantage of the event promotion and then use that event promotion in order to build anticipation with the people that are already connected to you through a Facebook page or a Facebook group. Again, of course, depending on how much this is part of your business, you can then add a button to your page. You can choose the one and you're likely to click shop with you. And then you can click see offers. And then this will take them to the offer section of your page. We'll then click finish. We'll then come to our page and then we'll click create offer. And then we'll tell people about the offer here. They will redeem it online. We will write in our URL and we'll put in our promotional photo. And once we do that, we'll then have published our first offer. Our offer will then be ready, and then when someone comes to our offer or they click the button, they'll be able to see all our offers, and we can begin to use this page in order to announce our videos as they are being released. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in order to promote your content or your channel locally, you can use a website called meetup.com. Meetup.com is in most parts of the world as well as giving you a diversity of people in order to come in contact with. When you determine what your local area is, Meetup will start to show you other individual groups where people are meeting and discussing their interest. In some cases, the interest is strictly business. In other cases, it's social. Of course, as is the case with anything offline or local, this is not going to be simply post your link and then move on. You are going to need to be involved with the individuals that are part of your group. So when you decide on a group, what you can do is you can decide that you're going to go to their meeting. And then in most cases, you'll get the opportunity to tell these people exactly what it is you do and when you have something new being released. And while this is not a leverage strategy, it is a good way for you to get word of mouth moving about your content. And again, while this strategy isn't particularly leveraged, you will find that individuals that do like your content will be more loyal than those that you might meet in an online setting. Now, obviously, you can go through the process of creating your own meetup, but you want to have it so that this is going to be profitable for you to do both in terms of time and revenue generated. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. You are now looking at a Google search of the search terms, tear off strips template. And that's so that you can get a template that you can use in order to promote your video channel or promote your newest video. And so what you're going to do is to pick one of the links in order to download a template. And you'll see the nature of this template. You'll notice that there is a subject that you can place in the middle. And then there are these strips that you can use in order to either place a telephone number or a website link. But rather than put 
a telephone number or a website, what we want to use is a QR code. And we want to use a QR code generator. And basically what we want to do is we want to make sure that we put our URL in the QR code so that when people scan it with their mobile device, they'll be taken to the URL where they can get our video course. So once we have it, we'll then click create QR code and then we'll download this QR code to be embedded into the tear sheet that we just picked up. And once we have it, all we'll need to do is to save this image and then we'll be able to put it inside of our document. We're then going to place the flyer in places where we think people are going to be interested in our video course, depending on what the subject matter is going to be. And of course, instead of the phone number here in the flyer, what we're going to do is we're going to put the QR code for them to scan with their mobile device. And actually, we're probably going to put the QR code up near the subject so that they don't even have to go and get the tear sheet unless they just want to. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. You are now looking at zoom.us, and we're looking at Zoom because it's one of two webinar systems where you can do live video and share video clip on your session. The other system is GoToWebinar, and obviously this gives us the ability to have a captive audience, also gives us the ability to center our video release around an event and to be able to share a video or an excerpt on that actual session. So let's go to go to webinar so that we can see how this would actually happen. In this case, in go to webinar, you would title your scheduled webinar and then you would set up your date and you would then click schedule. But once the webinar is set up, you'll notice at the very bottom of your customization, you'll see that there's a section called engage your attendees. And what you can do inside of this area is you can play five videos for your audience. That means that they'll be able to hear the video as well as to see it. And so to do this, we're just going to click edit. And then we're going to upload our video. Our video is then ready to be shown during a live webinar. Now the other thing that we can do is we can add a link. So we click the link again and this time we can add in a YouTube link. Now we will not do that for the sake of this video but it does give us another option of being able to show videos during our webinar. And you're actually looking at a video by GoToWebinar showing you what your screen would actually look like if you were delivering the webinar. As you can see, you'd have your display settings. You'd be able to show your uploaded videos. You can see here, you can see here that this person has two uploaded videos and they have one that they've imported from YouTube and they're going to show all three on the actual live session where their guests will be able to see and hear them. And you can see here on the left hand side, this is what your attendees would be seeing. They'd be seeing the video clip in a separate area. So this would be a great way of being able to display either an excerpt or the trailer or even an in-depth explanation as to what's inside of the course. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. In conclusion, Amazon Prime Video is a great way to be able to find new clients and other individuals that are going to be interested in content that we are producing. However, you want to be aware that there are promotional restrictions that you will have to work around. And while you may find it difficult to drive traffic from your Amazon Prime account to your existing business, you do have a number of options to drive traffic to Amazon Prime Video. You want to do what you can to make use of CreateSpace, Amazon KDP, as well as social media sites such as Twitter and Facebook. And at the same time, there is no substitute for building and using your email marketing list. So, so everything surrounding Amazon Prime you want to use to drive people to your email marketing list. And you want to use the repurposed content and you want to use the repurposed content on the other platforms. Meanwhile, you want to do what you can to make sure that you show up when someone's looking for your area of expertise in Amazon. 
Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you either in another video or in another course.